Hello everyone. In the previous video, we uploaded a product and built a product page for it. Now we are going to add some useful blocks that can increase the average shopping cart value on your shop, such as products from the same brand and recently V products. Let's get started. Open the product page template for editing. First I add a two column section. I set the width to the same as the other sections on the page. And by adding a little top margin, I create a little space between the previous section and this one. Now I drag and drop a product grid widget into the left column. I set its skin to custom for additional editing options. I enter a title that summarizes what products are shown here. I also select the right one from the listing. I set the product limit to one more and the columns to one less. This creates a nice layout. I make some changes in the content tab to make the product thumbnails consistent on the page. and I simply copy the style from the product carousel above it. It looks great. However, I feel the title would look better aligned to the left, and there could be a little more space between the rows. Okay, now I add a button that takes you to all the products of the brand. The dynamic tags feature makes this easy to do. You can also display other dynamic content as the button text, in our case the brand name. I make some changes on the content tab, but I won't have to work on the style tab this time either as I simply copy and paste the style of the Add to Cart button. I set the width to default and center my button. Now I'm going to build the right side, which will consist of a sticky background image and a brand logo. For this, I first add an intersection I delete one of the columns, because I don't need it. I drag in the brand image widget. This is also a dynamic widget, so it will always show the logo of the current brand. I've reduced the size a little bit. There you go. Now I set up a background image. It's a good idea to choose one that will match all your products. I set the size to cover, not repeat, and centered. I can't set the height in the content tab by specifying minimum height. I set the content position to middle, so the brand logo will always be in the middle. I set a small background overlay on the image to make the logo stand out more. Okay, now it scrolls with the page, but I would like it to stay in the same place when I move it, so I go to the Advanced tab. Here you can enable a sticky feature. Alright, but I want the effect to be more striking, so I'm stretching the left side a bit. I do this by using larger spacings between the elements. Great.
To create the next part, which will contain the recently viewed products, I simply duplicate the related products section. I use the top margin to place it a little further away from the content above it. I replace the title. I'm going to display the recently viewed products here. But you can of course choose whichever one you like according to your marketing goals. Okay, now let's look at it on tablet. Here the products would look better if there were only two columns side by side. That's good. Now I'll adjust the background image using the custom position setting. And I'm going to make the logo bigger. Looks good. Let's check it on mobile. Here it might be luckier if the two columns were reversed. In the section advanced settings, you have the option to invert them on different devices. The minimum height can also be adjusted responsively. I'm now repositioning the image to the center and setting a custom size for it. I have the size of the logo on this tool. There is a lot of empty space here, so I reduce the margins. Here I feel I could fit two products next to each other. So I increase the number of columns to two. Here I also adjust the margins a bit. Now I'm scrolling back slowly, checking my work. Now navigate to the front office and open a product page to see what we have created. Looks great. I'm sure your visitors will like it too. If you have any questions about the video, feel free to ask in the comments we'd be happy to answer them. Goodbye.